everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Caitlin Hill. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and share this video. You can also follow me along on my other socials. Instagram account is at Kate underscore Hill and my TikTok is at Queen Caitlin Hill. Okay, so basically I am 22, in between 22 and 23 months postpartum. When you have a, a baby or kids that are less than two years old, you always go by month so I'm always like and every week makes such a big difference like it really truly does so if you don't know my story already I had my first daughter Safia she's five years old now both my first pregnancy my body didn't change like it, it changed a very little bit I'm just thinking specifically of my mid section and what it looked like after like I didn't have any stretch marks or anything like that it was more or less just like the same it took me like a year to maybe like sort of naturally go back to the weight that I was at prior to having her and I like I don't you know I I'm into yoga and working out and all those sorts of things and eating super well but it was nothing ever that I worked super hard to get to just sort of like naturally happened through breastfeeding and like living and running around after a child that was like how my first pregnancy went and then I had my twins I very much wanted my pregnancy to start completely naturally I didn't want to be induced or for you know I just wanted the the fruit when the fruit was ripe on the tree for it to fall naturally and that's exactly what I did so I had them at 40 weeks actually specifically on their due date which is so funny because I was always like due dates don't matter and then it, <laughs> I had them on their actual due date usually with twins they don't go past 36 37 38 even weeks it's usually they they try to get them out around then which was not for me you know I went those extra few weeks carrying twins so I think that you know that made a huge difference on my body and my body changing and I'm super grateful for that I'm I wouldn't have had it any other way when I was pregnant with the twins around I guess it was probably in those last two to three weeks I can remember because Matisse was always sort of like looking at my belly and just like you know touching it and and massaging it and talking to it and everything and and him just saying you know I think that these stretch marks are gonna stay that were on my belly and I was using all types of oil I use my favorite oil by Living Libations best skin ever which I think absolutely helped with the elasticity of my skin I use that on my face and everywhere it's just amazing stuff but I remember him saying you know I think some of these stretch marks are they're really starting to stretch now and it was getting you know you can imagine like I'm care I was carrying two seven pound babies so my body was really just starting to stretch out near the end and yeah I was like so scared because you know up until that point I basically had blemish free skin you know I don't have any you know I'm sure I have some stretch marks in some places but it was like never in that area of my body and I was just like feeling so emotional about it and he's like no it's like the most beautiful amazing thing ever you know it was challenging for me because like so much of the messaging that we hear like growing up especially as women and men of course as well but just that you know like our skin has to be flawless it has to not have stretch marks it has to not look like it's changed or grown or like lived or gone through anything right anywhere on our bodies and on our faces as we age you know people are so against like aging basically and changing and having life happen which is so ironic and funny but yeah it took some like mindset change on my part to really look at it from a different perspective and he was like i obviously of course having like a loving supporting partner who was like he's like it's amazing like you're growing two humans inside of you at the same time like of course your body's gonna change and look different but I definitely was like oh my god like what's it gonna look like postpartum I had no idea I just decided basically during my pregnancy that I was gonna shift the way that I was looking at it and instead of being like oh my god I hate this I'm gonna hide this I need to cover this up this is horrible I basically decided to do the complete opposite and learn to love that part of myself that I could have hated and been like ashamed of and hid and all these sorts of things but I can just remember like being with Safia in the bath and she was just like looking at my belly and like I very easily could have shifted the narrative of what she was seeing and I could have been like oh mommy's gonna have stretch marks and yada 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 you know said all this like negative stuff about me and my body but instead I began to create this narrative around my body changing as being a super positive thing so I was just like wow do you see like mommy has all these stretch marks and and though that's just like the the baby's growing in me and like the lines like 
you look in mother nature like you see this kind of like growth in in like plants and trees and and just even in the sky like lightning it looks like stretch marks and it's like this like whew, this this incredible change and and just sort of like looking at it from a different way and explaining that to her and it's incredible because with kids you just realize like how much you can shape what it is that they are what their perspective is and what they're seeing yeah i started seeing that and i was just like i love my body i'm so grateful for this for you know these changes and and this is so amazing and so she that's how she saw it i very c easily could have shifted the narrative and been like oh my gosh don't look like mommy you know it's gonna be horrible and my skin and i'm gonna be you know just like not look good like I could have said so many other different things but I really chose to not do that I had the twins I had a home birth right literally outside these doors right here with the babies oh what an incredible magical day that was after that of course like I knew that you know it takes time for uterus to shrink down after having a baby and so like I was well aware of that after having my first daughter my body continued to change and evolve and for things to go back to sort of like you know smaller and flat and flatter I don't want to say back to normal because like I just we we never go back to normal we never know I don't even know what normal is and we definitely don't go back to what we were before we had kids like this whole new portal has been opened up with within ourselves and it's like I just don't like that that the way of looking at it because it's like we're never going to go back to the way we were and I was also wearing this um wrap every day I think I wore that for like six weeks and that was really helping sort of like get my core back that's like the most important thing to me is I just want to have a core and to be strong and so that was starting to happen you know after a certain amount of time I started to do some exercises here and there some core workouts and also I worked with the homeopath that actually you know helped me with some creams and and some massaging of you know just just activating the collagen within my skin and everything after you know being postpartum I've never been like oh my god I have to like lose all this weight that's just like never crossed my mind um but also probably because I've gone through so much stuff like you know as a teenager with like weight and wanting to lose weight and wanting to be thin again so deeply integrated into the narrative of our society that we are only worthy if we're like a certain weight and so I've, I'd already gone through all of that kind of stuff and I feel like I just was like that doesn't make me happy and it does, definitely doesn't make me feel good about myself so how can I feel truly good about myself so I've never put that pressure to be like I don't even weigh myself like I don't even own a scale okay I like I'm I don't care what I care about is how I feel on the inside and that reflects onto the outside and I truly believe in like manifesting and like manifesting how we want to look and if we're feeling our best and we're in alignment with ourselves we can that shows on the outside I just continue to do like small little movements here and there of course I was like walking and very busily looking after <laughs> three kids and so I was definitely still active and I I like I said before I I love yoga that is like I love that movement for me and I actually started doing something called Legree as well which I love that helped me so much with my core because my diastasis recti which I I still have was quite separated like really like I think I had like a two finger distance in between you know my abs so my abdominals so it was like you know just doing these like little things all the time that have just been like making me feel stronger within myself and that's what it comes to with like food as well like I'm an intuitive eater um, if you've been following me for a while we were like very vegan a few years ago and then during this last pregnancy slowly evolved into really like listening to what my body was needing and wanting and I was like craving that's been a huge part of it and then I think that allows for my body to really like go back to what it's meant to be at I've done so much like I grew three kids with this body and again I'm very blessed to have a partner that loves my my body and the changes that it's gone through if I was with someone that was like being negative about the way that I looked or like wanted me to change or like work so hard to meet this like impossible standard of like my body's just probably not going to look like that now or I'm going to have to go through like some kind of surgery or like you know obsess over trying to change it that would be that would be challenging but of course I think like our voice is the most powerful one that's the one we need to listen to he's always like I love I love your stretch marks on your 
on your belly because he's like that came from me like you know that's sort of like I feel is like a primal connection as well like when he sees me he's like oh no like that that was like you know from her carrying my kids and so it's like this if you look at it from that perspective it's like this really cool beautiful thing I feel I feel really good in my body and of course like I look back at like pictures of me when I, I had, you know, was just younger and I hadn't had kids. I didn't have twins. I didn't carry and grow babies. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so funny that like my body looked so good at that time. And I was always like, oh no, I need to like change or be thinner or be this or be like that. And when I look back now, I'm like, oh my God, you look so good. Why were you stressing, you know? And it's just about really like loving where we're at at each moment. And it's also just like such a relief to accept yourself for who you are and what you look like and, and at every single point in time. <sighs> it feels so good. So yeah, things have changed. It looks different. It's not what it once was. And that's cool. Like I'm, I'm good with that. It's, it definitely brings up some emotions in me, um, that I can see from just like past, um, conditioning. And every time it does, I'm just like, no, 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 it's all good. Like I feel good within myself. And that's what matters most to me is being strong, healthy, feeling good, always learning new ways to feel good and to, you know, bring that into my life, into my family's life. And that's like, basically my mission is to continue to do that. And yeah, just like love ourselves unconditionally. So I'm going to do a little belly reveal. I used to do this like all throughout my twin pregnancy. I started at 15 weeks, did it all the way till I had the babies at 40 weeks, and I'm gonna do one of those right now. And it's so crazy because it felt like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's almost been two years as well. Like I'm 22 months postpartum. How are the babies almost two years old? I need to hold, do a whole update on that because that's just like cocoa bananas. But yeah, I, um, yeah, show the belly. Okay, so like I said, I still have some diastasis recti. So it's, you know, there's like still a bit of a gap here, which I'm going to continue to work on because I think it's important to to work on that core. Like having a really strong core is so important for the rest of my body. So continuing to do that. But yeah, my skin has changed. It's it's stretch. It's got stretch marks on it now. And yeah, it's just this beautiful, amazing thing that um, has expanded and grown and changed and allowed for life to come into this world. It is, you know, it's a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful that I've been able to to bring this these amazing, beautiful souls. Like my kids are just, oh, they're so, so magical and I love being a mom so much. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button on this channel and like and share this video with someone that might benefit from watching this. Let's change the way that we look at women's bodies. Let's embrace and allow this change to be normalized and so that our kids can grow up in a world where they see that this is normal to, to love ourselves and to embrace change. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.